Hey folks, T here and we're doing a quick look at the Rhyme update. Um, I didn't get this game initially and uh, you know why, because of the issues that it had, the resolution and all that stuff. Uh, frame rate was terrible, I was looking forward to this game and uh, just uh, was waiting, on it for, waiting for it on Switch and then you know, when it came out it didn't look too good. So just recently picked it up because of the update. Um, I like what they said they were fixing, so I went ahead and dipped in, and now we're going to look at the comparison here. Um, the, on the right is the updated version. Um, as you can see on the left, all the, the effects and whatnot in this opening sequence here look better. Um, so that's you know sad to see that go, but again, it's just an opening sequence. Um, I guess they had to do that. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, you can see the water and the rain and all that look a little bit better there's a lot more going on on the original uh, unupdated version uh, compared to the updated version so I'm just gonna look at it here I tried to do is the, the gameplay as close as I could to match I'm skipping around a little bit um, there's some differences in loading time not much and uh, differences in what title screens pop up from the original to the updated version so uh, none of that stuff really matters that much. I skipped past most of that, so I'm just looking at uh, uh, your boy here on the beach. And uh, as you can see, um, you should be able to see pretty well that the resolution is much, much improved. Um, I also tried it in docked mode or undocked mode, handheld mode. And uh, I was looking at videos of it before, and it looked just awful like somebody smeared, you know, smeared ga gasoline, smeared Vaseline across their switch screens but uh it looks way better it looks great now on the uh switch uh screen so uh, as you can see here is you know, some gameplay opening stuff i tried to like i said i tried to mimic from memory as much as i could what i was doing with the camera angles and stuff uh, it's gonna be off but uh, it's gonna be pretty close so yeah, um, like I said, uh, a lot of people, it, I guess this game got mixed reviews, I'm not sure why, well I guess I'm sure why, I think uh, people were expecting something different than what it is, and I knew right away what type of game it was, it's, it's an adventure puzzle game, and um, I guess people look at it and think there's going to be some kind of action, maybe some combat and all that kind of stuff, but this game is an ex exploration type adventure game which is stuff that I love because um, I used to be I, I, I'm back on PC a little bit but back in the days I was a big uh, fan of PC gaming because of those kind of point, point and click adventures and uh, big adventure games that you couldn't get on console so um, it, I like that style of game uh, not so much uh, the telltale stuff because I feel it's too scripted um, and two, you know, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, quick timey, stuff like that. Um, it's kind of in that same genre, but not really. Um, I like the more open exploration stuff in this game. It's definitely that. And I just, a lot of gamers um, aren't into that, and I understand. And I think they were thinking this would be a different type of game because of the open world, if you will, of it. And, uh, yeah, this cutscene that kind of matched right up so you can see again the resolution differences you can see how the original version the original up unupdated version is a little bit choppier certainly choppier uh, there's footage because uh, I played the game a lot further than what you see here um, where you can definitely see uh, some choppiness and uh, and the uh, updated version isn't without chop <laughs> there's still uh, some frame rate stuff here and there but like I, like I said, from watching video footage of it before to uh, playing this, it is, to me, it looks night and day. And uh, this uh, version is way better. So hopefully they'll continue to, you know, tweak it. I think they will. Again, the only thing I see right now is still a, a few frame rate hiccups here and there. Um, but nothing egregious as far as I'm concerned. I'm not far enough to say overall how it is, but uh, for, you know, you know, 
I got the game for 26 bucks, you know, with the soundtrack um, and the little art art book that comes in. I think it comes in every uh, physical version of the game. So 26 bucks, brand new. Um, and uh, like I said, it came with the cool soundtrack. So I, I, it's pretty good value, you know. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching. Peace out.